Bombs are going off everywhere. It's the end of the world, man. It's the bad man. It's the biggest fan. What's the deal, man? Hopefully everybody's doing good. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your humble host, Jerome Smith. And today we're talking five amazing tobacco fragrances that I own in my collection, guys. I have five with me here. If you have them, let me know down in the comments. If you don't have them, I definitely recommend you add these to your collection. All right, so that's what we're going to be talking about on the fragrance show. All right, guys, come on back in, man. Welcome back, man. New subscribers, peace to y'all. My return subscribers, peace to y'all as well. Peace to everybody in the fragrance community, man. I know y'all looking good, and I know y'all smelling good, man. So, we're talking tobacco today, tobacco. Now, to me, the kind of tobacco fragrances that I like typically are the much, the ones on the sweeter side. I don't really like the burning, ashy, smoky kind of tobacco fragrances, although some of them are okay. Me, I prefer like pipe tobacco, sweet tobacco, something with some kind of vanilla in it. And some spice is cool, but not that ashy burning kind of tobacco, if that makes any sense. All right, so, all right guys, fragrance number one, I recommend that you add to the collection is Tobacco Touch. A take on Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille from the house of Mason Alhambra. This one right here, such a nice, naturally smelling, sweet tobacco fragrance. It reminds me of, like I said, pipe tobacco. Somebody was smoking a pipe. That kind of vibe going on with it. Excellent clone, I will say that. Definitely a top tier clone to the private blend. You probably can get that roughly around $32 from Triple Traders. Um, most of these fragrances I'm going to show y'all came from Triple Traders, guys, for sure. So, nice, sweet, vanilla, tobacco mixture. Tobacco, tobacco vanilla is heavy in the community. We all know what's going on with that, all right? Fragrance number two. And this one was kind of new. I had to add it to the collection. It had got good reviews on the YouTube. I forgot what channel I was watching. And that is from an autobiography, Supreme Gold. I believe this one is from... Maybe Paris Corner or Fragrance World. Guys, I can't really remember. And it's not showing up on the freaking bottle. Here we go. Paris Corner is actually on the top of the thing right there. If y'all can see that. This bottle, to me, it has a nice elegance to it. This is a lot of glass. That is mostly glass down there. So be careful with this. Now with this tobacco. This has a sweetness to it as well. Slight spice, slight spice. Real nice, sweet tobacco fragrance. Just massive pilling, just smells nice. Not the biggest performer. I actually wish it lasted and put, I actually wish it lasted longer. Just overall performance, man. I wish it last longer and I wish it projected more because it's just so nice, man. Damn, it's just so nice, but nice tobacco fragrance as well if you don't have this one in your collection i recommend you check it out this one this i will say the autobiography line is much like a little bit more expensive i think this bottle might have been like 55 dollars maybe 50 to 55 so it was a little bit more expensive as far as like uh uh cheapies go but it is amazing I enjoy it for the time that it lasts, and um, I did wear it a couple times. I made a slight dent in it. So, autobiography, Supreme Gold. All right, let's get on to fragrance number three. Fragrance number three is actually a fragrance I picked up this year, fairly kind of new release, and that is Tabac. This one right here, set to be a clone of Tabacular, I believe, from the house of Dior. Um, man, Mason Alhambra, this joint right here, Fragrance fam, I know y'all got this in the collection, man. This one probably is, is hovering right now between, I believe, 45 and 50 like, between those prices right there. And this is the honey tobacco. This is honey. This is sweet. There's no spice. This is honey, honey, honey. Honey. Honey tobacco, man. Amazing fragrance. Just naturally smelling, smelling real good. Um, nice blend, man. Nice blend. This one is like definitely should have this joint. 
for sure up in the collection. You talking about on a nice spring, fall night. You might be out with your lady. You might be hitting up the 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 night the night spots in your city, man. Put this joint on with a nice cold or nice blazer, however you want to do it. Super compliment getter. Somebody get close to you with this one. And this one definitely has a decent performance. I will say that. Now. These is ain't in no particular order because actually the last one I'm going to show y'all is probably the best one out of all of them, but it costs the most out of all of them as well. But it's a nice clone on the market for it too as well, but I got the OG here with me. But nevertheless, next up on the list, guys, and this is from Paris Corner, and it's called Death by Ood, this one right here. This is Spice Tobacco. Some of these fragrances are a little similar. I will say that when it comes down to the tobacco. But this is another nice slice spice tobacco. Slice sweetness to it. I'm actually going to spray this one, but not on, not on my skin. I'm going to spray it on this box. Because I just love the smell. Yeah. Spice Tobacco has excellent, excellent, excellent performance on this fragrance. That's just that spray right there. It's filling up my whole situation right now. Excellent. Spice Tobacco. Love it. Love the mixture. Amazing. Amazing. Death by Oud, Paris Corner. Guys, Killer Oud, this one right here. So let's get on to the last one. Now, last but not least, and like I said, it's the best one out of, all of, out of all of them up here, but it is a clone for it. <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't want to cut the check, that is Parfum Darmali's Carlisle, man. Yo, the tobacco in this boy with that green apple spice, dog. Woo, 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 woo. Now, I will say, this is not the clone for it, but it smells similar. It definitely smells similar, but uh, the overall craftsmanship is, is not seeing this, but it definitely smells similar. That has like that spice tobacco. This is spice tobacco as well with green app with apple, I believe. Whoa, 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 whoa. But this is the clone for it. And this is a solid clone from Mason Alhambra. It's called Cassius. This is a solid clone to this guy. Um, so if you want to just, if you want to take my word for it, um, I would say try to smell an OG if you can. And I would say this is definitely a top tier clone for this guy right here. It's just with this one in the opening, it's a little, little alcoholic blast in the opening, but Western settled down. It's amazing. Spice tobacco, green apple, woods. It's amazing, guys. It's amazing. All of these tobacco fragrances are amazing. I'm pretty sure there are so many much more on the market, uh, but this is just five from my collection. Um, it's actually like a one in one, you know what I'm saying? I, I showed y'all six total, but I wanted to show y'all the clone as well, along with the OG. This is an excellent tobacco fragrance right here. Um, so yeah, man. You guys let me know your thoughts on those fragrances you know um what's your favorite tobacco fragrances if you checking out this channel let me know down in the comments man all right so thanks for watching this video guys if you need more content click on that video header up on the screen if you want to like and subscribe to the channel you're gonna do that as well and i'll catch you guys in the next video man peace salute